It's half past three in the afternoon. Linda is out walking. Just an everyday stroll, it seems, but then suddenly things take an unexpected turn. Linda disappears from sight. In the great outdoors, emergency situations can arise at any time. To speed up the search, the Swarmix team applies cutting-edge technology. The brain of the rescue mission is the central mobile planning station. It quickly calculates a search plan which the agent can follow during the operation. Plans are based on a mathematical programming model, which is iteratively solved using a combination of AI and exact optimization techniques. Two complementary wireless networks provide communication support for the team. A long-range XB Pro network used for exchanging location and control data and a multi-hop delay-tolerant wireless LAN used to transmit images and other mission data. Using these two networks, the central planning station stays connected to all the actors in these search operations. Lightweight, fully autonomous aerial robots, quadcopters and swinglets equipped with onboard cameras. Search dogs with dedicated sensor-enriched harnesses. And humans supplied with special smartphone applications. The swinglet is programmed to cover the search area at a given height, performing a scanning flight behavior. The swinglet's flight is completely autonomous. Its high cruise speed of 10 meters per second allows the flying agent to get a quick overview of the search area. After a few minutes, the images taken by the swinglet show something suspicious on the ground. The smartphone application will help the agent find the location of the first red alert as quickly as possible. In the meantime, via the wireless network, the human agent stays in contact with the central planning station, which is keeping an eye on every step she takes. A false alarm. The search agent finds the detected object, cancels the red alert and notifies the central planning station automatically about her discovery. To find Linda as soon as possible, Swarmix is about to bring in more agents. A second swinglet joins the search. The planner software now coordinates the joint actions of three agents. The flying agents of the Swarmix team have by now covered more than half the search area. But as one agent reaches the edge of the search area, the unexpected happens. The swinglet disappears from the screen. The central planning station detects the loss of contact immediately and commands the second swinglet to act as a communication relay. Soon the network is re-established and the agents are reconnected. The central planner receives the swinglet stored information relayed through the other swinglet. New alerts have appeared on the screen but their locations are too far for the ground team to check out. The planning station gives the green light to the quadcopters. Lightweight aerial agents programmed to interact with the well-trained search dogs. After takeoff, the quadcopter performs autonomous flight following the search plan. Search dogs are trained to follow the quadcopter. The search dogs are fitted with so-called eye collars, which contain a GPS module and motion sensors, enabling the planning station to track the position of the dogs. Now a real swarm of heterogeneous agents appears in the search area, all connected through the wireless network and contributing their specific skills. The swarm has one goal, to find Linda as soon as possible. The copter dog team moves with a speed of up to 15 kilometers per hour towards the location of the alert. This time they seem to be in the right place at the right time. Linda has been found. The search dog's barking is detected by the planning station, informing the team that the search is over. The planning station terminates the operation and summons all agents back to base. 
the search and rescue mission is complete. <laughs>